almost 1,200 players took part in the World Series of Poker's $5,000 Six Max tournament. But that was yesterday. Today, at the starting line of the second round, only 381 players remain in the race. Among them is our favorite Italian, Mustafa Canet, well established among the chip leaders after a faultless performance on day one. With a stack of 312,500, that's 125 blinds, Mustafa is in 12th place on the leaderboard. He'll start day two with the biggest stack at his table, a position which allows him to aspire to much better than just reaching the money, which should arrive in the middle of the day. But before diving into the action, we catch up with our hero a few minutes before kickoff for a final briefing with the coach. Getting ready for the day two. Take my patches. Oh, this is the coach, probably is here. I'm ready, coach. I'm ready, coach. Andiamo. Hopefully it's gonna be a fun day. Ciao. Ciao coach. Ciao. Buongiorno. Oh. Tutto bene? Tutto bene. Ok, let's go. So 312 is a lot of chips, no? Or is yeah, it good? What's yeah. the average? Uh, 130, 120. Nice. So how did yeah. it go? Oh, very good. Played good, good ran good? Yeah, played good, ran good. But uh, very, yeah, very solid day. Made uh, one good fold, three very good calls. I called okay. one guy with queen high, I called one guy with ace high. It was, yeah, just a strong day. Strong day, good. Yeah. Had, uh, Double with aces, I double with quad. So like the, the, the days that are very uh, pleasant yeah. for yeah, poker. Yeah. Good. And Just today, what's up then? Another pleasant day. In what if it's not pleasant? <laughs> we try to make it pleasant. <laughs> OK, that's uh, like that. What's the table like? It's good. I'm still with uh, one guy from yesterday, Okay. Santosh. What, what about the rest of the table? I looked uh, few two names I don't know. But probably if I see the face, I know. Okay. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna adapt, see how it is, see how I'm perceived. How do you feel? What there. are the sensations like? I feel good. I'm excited to play. I like. Yeah. What is it like when you when you when you doing it right? Like when you play right? Can you describe what it's like? How it feels? What you see? What you? Yeah, I was hear? I was very in in the I don't know present all day. You know, I see. I saw things, I didn't took many marginals, like uh, I, I was happy with my game. I was perceived uh, tighter than I was, so I like that. You know, then you Yeah, can... that's what you were saying yesterday. So you managed to do that in 6 max too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In 6 max it's uh, it's easier in a way, I don't know, because uh, they think someone aggressive is playing every hand, but in reality you need to play some hands, but you, you know, in an aggressive way. Like right, don't... yeah. Don't lose too much when, uh, because if you are in every hand, then you know with so wide more, ranges. So more tight, aggressive, so that you, yeah. you seem to be uh, tight, but uh, but, but, but uh, in reality yeah. you're in reality, much yeah, more. Exactly, okay. especially in the beginning, it's nice that you perceive tighter, and then you know later on in the day, where right. the chips are worth much more. You can make use of that. What's what about goal? the evolution of your stack? Like, what if your uh, you know your stack size changes a lot? Like, especially if it decreases, like if you lose chips. When, when do you readjust? Like you need to adapt to the situation. Okay. Like, uh, you know, one thing is 150 bigs, another thing is 30 bigs, right. and uh, it's a tournament that, at some point, your stack will change. So you right. just need to be ready to adapt to that. Okay. Uh, especially this tournament, the end phases always play kind of shallow. This I expected less because it's one hour level, so there is some. So scenario. when do you think it's going to get more shallow? It's, it's later, not probably, yeah, end probably of the tomorrow. day today or tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. 
And the bubble, when is it going to be, you think, like, uh, late today or soon now? Yeah, maybe four hours. Oh, okay, okay. Four, five hours. No, I don't know, five hours probably. Well, let's hope you, uh, you have uh, the same pleasant day as yesterday. And yet be ready for, uh, for that to be different because you, you never know what's going to happen. I had one right? hand very funny yesterday. I mean, funny. So what I, I opened Queens and uh, this guy called in position that uh, he was a bit, I don't know, he felt like he wasn't folding, you know. Okay. And big blank call, come seven, three deuce, there is one heart. I see bets kind of small, he calls, the other guy fold, turn eight of open a flash drop heart. I bet quite big, leaving like 40k behind, I cover, you know. Right. And the guy called, river comes king. And I think about it, I was like, oh, this guy always have a pair. Like if I jam, he's not gonna believe me. So whatever, I jam queens for value. He snap call. I was like, fucking hell, I found him with sevens or eights. Like, oh my God. So it wasn't, he snap call, like, uh, like oh. he has a full, you know, like he has trips. So ace whatever. Ace dos. No, no. <laughs> I show queens and he's like, Nice hand. <laughs> and Mook, but the way he called, I thought I would lost because he's like, he called me like he had aces, you know, like. Yeah, so, well, what could he have then? What do you think? Yeah. Like nines or tens, maybe? He didn't show, he put them in the Mook, maybe fives <laughs> or fours. Yalla, ciao, coach. I see him five. Ciao. It's always nice when uh, the coach picks me up. There is always a nice chat on the car with him, a good vibe and uh, is what you need before a big day too. He has a, a very unique perspective about things and I really like it. Let's put my hoodie on. I, I didn't change it for today, I don't know. It was working good yesterday. It's, cameras, no? it's uh, what you have to do to be winner, Max. I'm ready. <laughs> 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 I'm ready. Just give me the special let's go, let's hold the camera. This is my seat? No, it's mine. Yeah. No. Can, can I take it? No? No? <laughs> you take the chips. Bro. <laughs> take the chips. No, you have a lot. No, yeah, a lot is uh, 58 million. It is a lot. Still nothing to do. That's all yours. Hopefully. <laughs> Inshallah. Good luck. But thank you. That guy's fun. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. run on the same table sometime yeah. this summer. I still didn't, but uh, I saw him around. How you doing, sir? Good. How you doing? I'm good, thanks. Thank you. Your late red for the 5K6 Max line up in the middle of the room. If you're playing the 5K6 Max, go to the table that you have on your pink slip. If you don't have your pink slip, with about 95% of you do not. Go ahead and go to WSOP.com, report stage two. Is the the mind? Yeah. For you? Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> On camera. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good day one, though. Nice day one. Also, Dimitar Danchev at my table. How many you started? I played a lot with him. Uh, 300? 312? Hello. Hello. I was there the day with him all day. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. All right, six max players, 5K no limit, buttons in the six dealers, 1,2500 blinds, thank you for your patience. Good luck everybody, dealers please, jump up and deal. My first impression is that is a good table. I have good position on the two best players of the table. Uh, seat five and six. Fantosh. I played with this Asian guy before, uh, quite on the loose side. They six suited. I don't think the big blind is gonna squeeze enough times, so I decide to defend the small. I can also 3-bet sometimes, but just the beginning and... The players in the six pack, please hang tight. We will call you back in, we will not start without you. Great. And here we go, he, he squeezed. 
I'm not really happy, but he did a small sizing. I'm just gonna call and play the three way pot. Everybody check. Turn is a six, that is a good card. Sometimes I I have the best hand with the six. And players of the September deep stack, we come back to table five sixty eight. We are bringing your table immediately. Five sixty eight will be broken immediately upon the start of this level. I have an easy check. Hopefully the six is good. The six is really not good. Big blind had pocket queens. So weird that he didn't bet any streets, especially flop or turn. I'm happy I didn't bluff. Sometimes it's very important like to understand how your opponent plays and I had zero info on him and seeing him playing queens this way is a really big uh, info for the future, you know. Bottom open, 6,000. 6-7 Six, suited from the big blind. I can go both ways, 3 bet some time, or just defend, and I decide to just defend. This is a good flop for me. Flash draw on uh, king, king 3. Small bet from him. Uh, I can go both ways. Check raise or check call. I just check call. If we face a big bet here, uh, it can get complicated. Against a small bet, I can decide to check raise or sometimes check call. But uh, I don't know, I just feel like keeping the spot simple when you can is easy. I played with him in the past, he was a really aggressive player, but at the same time, you don't know how someone develops with the time and if he changes his strategy in some ways. Uh, here the bet on the turn is it's quite big, not huge, and I decided just to check fold and keep it in simple. I could have played this hand in many different ways, but it's okay. I'm a bit car dead. I really like my seat, my table. I can really decide which spots I want to enter on and you know at the same time it's better be conservative. I have really, two really good players on my right. Base jack off from the cutoff. It's a really easy open.
All right, King Nine Seven. We saw diamonds. I have the Jack of Diamond. I think I can bet for range. Maybe make him fold a seven or a nine between turn and river. I'm not full range, but I think this combo can play good as bet bet. Okay, on this turn. I'm not sure, I can go both ways. Bet Bet really put struggle on a lot of his hands. I still have good board equity. Uh, Ace are good. Jacks probably is good. Same time, Diamond, maybe I can bluff it. So let's check back. River uh, Jack is a good card for me. I'm beating the sevens, I'm beating the nine. Uh, only Queen 10 and 10 8 close, where 10 8 maybe he check raise, also Queen 10. If some, sometimes he can check raise. There is the runner runner flush, he shouldn't have many. Okay, I'm not really happy about this but at the same time you can have some kings that play like this but I'm not sure about the sizing I think I have a good a decent bluff catch especially you know like I bluff, I blocker the two pairs like king jack and jack nine don't see too many jack seven and he can have you know he can have some hands that turn like a bluff like uh, some diamond on flash draw some 6, 8, and hands like this. Oh, yeah, he made a straight. Nice hand. Yeah, I'm not happy about my decision on the river. It was quite a big pot, but at the same time, I felt like the call was right. He didn't felt like he had a king on the flop, and I don't know how just the hands played. Next. Boston changed it up and decided to just call. Now he's on Dimitar from the small blind. I don't expect him to isolate often, but to flat a lot. Okay, I have the king six off from the big blind. I think it's an easy check. Jack K deuce with a flash draw. Everybody check. Everybody check again. I have absolutely nothing. 
maybe I try yeah I have many clubs that play like this let's see if they don't have a flash that can be possible probably it's gonna go fold fold I don't expect them to fold many clubs but for how the hand played I think it's it's a smart bluff on the river he has to work so so little to be profitable I don't know either. What is it? Raise is really not what I wanted to see, but he takes it. I don't think I can really raise back with his hand. And nice hand for him. Tough start, tough start. Let's have some coffee, maybe change it up. I have a decision here, I can go both ways, but I decide just to call, even though I see him a bit weak pre-flop, but I don't know, I don't want to trip at fold this sort of hand. I think I'm not going anywhere on this flop. check I'm gonna check again hopefully this jack is good I'm not really happy when he bats. Same time, you know, he can have so many bluffs here that play like this. Bat, check, bat. I don't see many sevens. Maybe some nine, but he can bat the turn with nine, like king nine, ace nine. Maybe some worse nine, like ten nine, nine eight. But for sure, he can have stuff like queen jack maybe even some ace x maybe some king x king 10 king 8 suited mm, it's a tough one it really is a tough one let's call jack 9 Was was one of the possibilities. Should have just three bet free flop. Keep losing, keep losing. Um, I have two hundred ten thousand after this hand. Rough start of the day.
Based <laughs> enough from this mod. Uh, against him, I decide to raise. He's been quite passive, like from the pocket queen's hand he played before, and I think I'm gonna win the hand often, and I have good value with his hand, so I decided to raise. Jack 9-4 is not the best board for me. I can go both ways, but against him I think a small bat. I like it more. And then take a decision between turn and river. I didn't expect to face many many rays. I don't know. I still have backdoor straight, uh, ace high. I still beat against some of his bluffs. I decide to call. I can still win it often between turn and river. At least this is what I think. Queen is a really good card for me. It's a very small bet. Uh, I can even raise to make him fold a jack or a nine. More probably a jack between turn and river. Or I can just check call and play my equity. Just feel a bit weak, the bet 7k. I raise to 21. I hope he doesn't go all in. That's the only thing I don't want to see. Oh my god, I uh, become a really terrible hand, should have just check call. But I really didn't expect him to go in. That was a very bad play from me. Could have check called the 7k, still had my, my out. No, instead, raise, want him to fold, mamma mia. Tough day so far, tough day. But it's poker. We finally lost one, sit four. He won every hand against me, but lost against the others. Anyway, was a good player, good game. A new player joining. I know him, I know him. Mol molto malandro. Very aggressive Brazilian player. Uh, sit and go specialist. That was his background. We played tons against each other. Very good player. Dimitar raise, 7 6 suited, it's too weak to call. I mean, it's fine sometimes to put it out there, but I, I like the 3 bet. Santosh, what do you want to do?
Good, fold is good, fold is good. Let's go. I finally win one on the day. I had to wait for the 7-6 suited spot. Mamma mia. Pocket nines, easy raise. Okay, call from the bottom. 514, we just broke 514, you left your backpack over here. Table 514, we just broke it, your backpack's still over here. I can go for a check raise or bet. I think both fine. Uh, I like betting, very easy. I don't expect him to bet so often on this texture. Against early open, so. I go for quite a big sizing, I mean half pot, can go even bigger here like 60, 65% but it's completely fine. Okay, 10 on the turn doesn't change too much. You shouldn't have many 10s, only like Jack 10 of the 10s the of diamond pretty much. No other 10s like King 10, Queen 10, this kind of hands. His range is so much wider than that, so I think there is uh, still value to take. I'm not too scared about the 10, you know, it's just a few combination. But uh, so I think I cannot really check here, range against range, there is good value to take. So, let's put one more street. He has so many hands, he just cannot fold, like all the flash throws, all the pocket pairs. All the one pair too is this guy has like ace eight suited or like eight nine suited these kind of hands. I don't think he will fall like sevens, sixes, hands like this, probably he's gonna call one more. Of course he's calling like ace four of clubs, ace deuce of clubs, ace three. River is uh, completely blank. I can go both ways for a very thin value bet, maybe one third pot, or uh, just check and hopefully make him bluff worst hands. But I don't know, I just felt like he had value between flop turn and river. 
a bit unfortunate if he has like 10 X of diamond. So I think, uh, I think I can go both ways and check is completely fine. I mean, he's so thin the value on the river and he might even check back some 10 X. That's really unfortunate. I think I played good this hand, not much to do, and on the turn I like the bat. That's poker. I have a decision here, I can go both ways again, uh, flat without expecting many squids from behind or uh, three bet and try to play heads up against, uh, against Limitar. But uh, not expecting many squids after me, I think call is fine. Yeah, we're all good. Okay, 8-6 views. check to us, I can go both ways, I can check and try to realize my back doors or I can bet small and then decide between turn and river. I just hope uh, he doesn't raise here. I'm very happy to play my turn and river with this card. Okay. Turn is nice. I think I'm gonna just check back and try to realize my equity. I really don't want to bet fold this hand, even though with Santosh will be bet call, of course, because the stack are there. But I'm a bit worried about Dimitar here. It's very weird his call on the flop. He's a bit manly. Hmm. Dimitar bet quite small. I don't think I can do much. Probably just fold here. It's a very weird hand played by him. Can be super strong here. Doesn't seem like he has so many natural bluff, maybe 9-10 or something like this. Yeah, he has a full house. I played. I played well this hand. And first break of the day. Break 
Not a good first two levels. Let's go take some fresh air and hopefully change this run. It's been a tough start, a uh, hard day. Hopefully this will change. The first two levels were incredibly hard. I made many mistakes too. Had a big drop. <laughs> I had uh, more equity than you thought, than you think. Really? Yeah. 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 I know. Huh? Or something like that. Yeah. I had so much equity. <laughs> I thought about. I yeah. It it do like if I check race there, it's like yeah. what will come. Yeah. Like, never come. Yeah. No, it's not there. I had the uh, best hand I can have against you. Spade, everything, yeah, well. <laughs> really. And then on the turn, I was like, oh, this motherfucker. If I bet, maybe check I, raise me. I, I might, I might show actually, yeah, because yeah. like you have sixes and juice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I was like, yeah, no, let yeah, let me saying. let me <laughs> let me see my equity. <laughs> I yeah. Uh, Porco Dio. Ma ci tocca che in cooked. I think he was very... I was going to show pre, but I let him the chance to... I don't think he has... How much you got? Worst level of my life, 120. I should have said one then. It was a quick break. We refresh a little bit. Ciao, Stevie. How are you? We are not dealing parts of getting washed up, ready to go. Come back to 2,000, 4,000 with the 4,000. That should be washed up, ready to go. Where's in the six packs? Please shuffle up the deal. Lines are 2 4k, down on grinding the shallow stack, not the short stack. 30 bigs is not short. King 10 off from the hijack. I open. 8? 8,000. Uh, I think I can bet small here. On uh, monotone, it's always good to make small sizing. And I could even check back flop, but uh, I think my hand is fine. Needs a bit of protection, and uh, with a club it would have been better. But unfortunately, I don't have it. And I just don't face really good check raises. I'm not really happy to face a check raise, but if they don't check raise enough monotones. And anyway, I would have an easy flop decision, calling, and then on turn and turn deciding what to do.
I think I called. Eight, that is not super nice. Complete some bluffs, you could have, you know, like 9-10 with the club, or 9-5 with the club. More 9-10. I don't know, you also look very comfortable. And he took quite a long time before check raising and on the turn. Uh, I think I have a turn decision. I'm not really happy. Uh, I don't know. I just feel like I have so many better hands here on this spot. And I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I trust him on this one. Something doesn't feel too right about it. Also the sizing is quite strong. Nice hand. He put me in a tough spot. Maybe checking back flop was a better choice, but it's fine. Let's let it go. It's not exactly a dream start to the day, Mus. Only two hours have passed in the second round of this $5,000 six max event, and your stack has already lost two thirds of its value. We're down to 280 players left and 180 make the money, so we aren't far off. But with only 20 blinds in front of you, you're going to have to hang on to get through this first stage. You can count on our support in the next episode of Inside the Mind of a Pro. Nice.